Hey there, Neil from Shiny White Box, and today I'm going to do a video on audio. And by that I mean an introduction to audio. So if you're new to the Mac, uh, or you have never really used anything audio-y on the Mac, um, then this hopefully will be a good, good starting point. So I've got Finder open here, because I want to show you where there is an app that I use a lot called Audio MIDI Setup. It's just an alternative view of all of your audio devices. So when you go to Applications, there is a Utilities folder, and in there you'll find Audio MIDI Setup. So if you ever see, let me close this. So if you ever see audio devices as, a, as an app in my videos, uh, which you'll see a lot, uh, that's where it is. So it's got nothing to do with Shiny White Box. It's just, it's an app that is on your Mac already. So let's take a look at uh, audio devices. Um, where they are in your Mac, what they do, and so on. Okay, so in Preferences, you'll find there is a sound panel. In there, it lists all of your, what are called output and input devices. Now, an output device is any device to which we can play audio. So that would be, a good example would be, you know, built-in speakers on the iMac. Um, I have a couple of other external devices plugged into my Mac. One is a a uh, high quality digital audio converter, a DAC. Uh, that's what this ODAC Rev B thing is. Uh, of course, you probably don't have one of those. I also have a lexicon plugged in. And it turns out that my microphone has a 3.5 millimeter um, headphone jack on it. So my microphone acts as some speakers. Great. A uh, couple of monitors plugged in, and they have their own audio as well. So essentially, anything to which I can output or to which I can play audio is listed here. Uh, by default for me it's my little ODAC and that's connected to my speakers. So any audio on the Mac um, that I play, say say I take Chrome, that's what I use, and I play a YouTube video, um, then that will play out to the ODAC. If I were to change it like this to iMac speakers, then any audio I play uh, using Chrome, same example, will now play to iMac speakers, not the, not the mains. Um, and likewise, important for audio capture, SWB audio app, and I show you, um, if I did this, then all of the audio for the system will go to the audio driver. And that's how we capture audio on the Mac. Now, I'm not going to go into detail about that at the moment. I just want to focus on the basics. So what's this audio MIDI setup thing over on the right-hand side? Well, in short, it's exactly the same thing as what's on the left, but a little bit more detail. So I don't know if you noticed that as I clicked these, SWB Audio Capture, you would have seen this little speaker icon changing position. It's really a, same, a view of the same thing. So here's my ODAC and that little speaker icon means this is my default output device. So I could go here and say use this, um, not a mic, can't use a microphone for output, this one, use for sound output. Funnily enough you'll see that change on the left hand side. So it's really uh, two lists of the same thing showing slightly different information. On the right hand side with audio MIDI setup we get things broken out a little bit more. So we have level, different levels for each channel, we can mute things and we can look at rates. So you will see me use this quite a bit on, on videos uh, that I do. Um, but it's nothing to do with shiny white box, it's just it's on your Mac already. Um, you've already got it. Um, I don't spend a lot of time talking about inputs because typically on a Mac, most applications will always specify which device you want to capture from. That's true of all of the applications that I've written. Uh, it seems to be true of GarageBand and you know other things. Um, they always have a selection for what you want to record from, which makes sense because it's useful to have it there. Um, it's a bit of a pain to be honest if you didn't have that and you had to come in here every single time to change which device you wanted to record from. Um, so most of the time you don't have to worry about inputs at all uh, when you're doing any capture. So that's the essentials of audio on the Mac. So think, in summary, output devices. They are any device that you can play audio to. If you think of them as a set of speakers, virtual or not, um, then yeah, that's, a, that's a good starting point. Um, and everything else is just sugar on top. Uh, so I hope that's useful. Leave a comment or a question below if you want. Um, subscribe if you want to get more content from me. Otherwise, have a great day.